west side of Los Angeles, we were uh, the birthplace of the standing electric scooter. They were first released in Santa Monica by the company Bird in uh, September of 2017. We started seeing these scooters appear all over our communities and neighborhoods, and it wasn't long before we started seeing injuries associated with their use in the emergency department. Both the emergency department at UCLA Santa Monica as well as UCLA Ronald Reagan um, were probably among the first emergency departments in the country to see uh, injuries associated um, with electric scooter use. Of the 249 patients, not all of them were actually riding the electric scooters. We had 21 patients uh, who were pedestrians. These are people walking on the sidewalk who were hit by someone on a scooter. Um, some elderly people who uh, didn't see the scooter in the road and tripped over them and got injured. Um, as well as uh, people just uh, who got injured while trying to move or manipulate a scooter without actually riding it. You see all kinds of people riding scooters uh, at the beach. You see tourists riding them around UCLA. I see students and professors riding them. Uh, in my neighborhood, I see young kids, often two, sharing a single scooter. The majority of people aren't wearing helmets. I've even seen a woman with a little infant baby in a little sling that she was carrying as she was riding the scooter. So standing electric scooters are here to stay. They're very popular with people and people are using them naturally for transportation. Uh, I think as a society, uh, we need uh, to think uh, really deeply about how we're going to manage and regulate uh, the use of these scooters. Um, many different cities are passing different types of laws. I think it will be really important to think deeply about the types of policies that we create uh, in order to protect uh, people from uh, injuries from this incredibly new and useful new form of transportation.